It's interior one, I think. Oh, it is. Oh. Somebody told me. Just so it yeah. I think I left my inside right. Yeah. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Can you pass that jug around? I appreciate everything you can do to help us out. You know, things have been a little slow because of this, whatever's going on. So anything you can do to help us out, we sure would appreciate it. Keep things going. Here at uh, the Real Grocery Bluegrass, we try not to miss any Saturday nights, but it costs a little bit to keep it rolling. So appreciate everything you can do. Thank you.
NFL player's mind.
ahead and see. Let's do this. Don't have to take my safer down. Oh. Yeah. 
Jackie did one back in the 60s. Oh, no. Yeah. no and if it was ever applicable, it's applicable today. I just hope I can remember. Okay. 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 Let's try an egg. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cover for you. 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 Cover for you.
Oh. I should run in and roll my mustache in an 8-track. <laughs> 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 That's where I'm going to be. There'd be no more drill than that, could it? It was on an 8-track. Now, I'm just being kicked. He's a friend of mine. He likes to play them singing. He brought his guitar out of the house. I said, I ain't taking mine. Put it back. Would you mind if he came up? No, no, no. You didn't blame yourself on up there. I, I used to come in a lot, didn't yeah. I? Yeah, you did. I started to have a lot of health problems. You're an old plan. Yeah. Hey, all of us have Oh, old problem. I don't know if you're familiar with Williamson, but this is Ben K. He used to own a garage over there. But he got so old and so stiff, he couldn't do anything for he had to sell it. And not that I'm saying this man's a miracle. He was, he had a heart attack. And while he was, while he was in the hospital, he had a heart attack. He had a stroke. And so, when he got done, I had some friends of mine had heart attacks, and after they had him, their timing got off. So I went to the hospital with him, and he set up our practice for his time, and didn't get off. And he loved to sing, he's going to do one for you when he's ready to come, I suppose. And I'm going to go take a seat back there, but I want to tell you what, it's nice to be back, good to see y'all. We enjoyed it. Good morning. I'm going to get a little skip for you because he likes to be real. I'll stay to the edge. Good. Anyway, I want to give y'all a little bit of a testimony for the song I got came from. Or why I love it. Ben, sit down and talk into the mic so we can all hear you. <laughs> you see why I have to go into my mic? Keep it straight. I have to drive him out here tonight. We all have to have somebody to push us. Yeah. We all need somebody to push us. A little yeah. motivation. Anyway, I uh, was working on his old truck. I was working on it. December the 22nd, three years ago. It still ain't running. <laughs> I had a heart attack. <laughs> and uh, I started running out of air. I mean, you know, and, that, and I thought, well, I called Myrtle and let it go to my church. That's Myrtle. Come over here and run me down there at that little clinic right below the hospital down there. I want to get me one of them little breathing things. And I said, because I'm running out of air. She said, where are you at? And I said, I'm at So she came over and carried me, she carried me down there. So I go in, and this woman talks to me for a minute. She said, look, sir, there ain't nothing I can do for you here. I'm fixing to send you over here to ER. I said, what the heck is that? She said, you'll find out just as soon as you get there. <laughs> so I go over there to ER, and I walk in. They ask me, what's your name? And I tell them my name. I don't even stop at the desk or nothing. They take me right on back there and put me on this here little table. I'm cooking up all these wires on me, you know. And I'm... That doctor, he come back out there in there in a little bit, and he said, I got you a room up here at 332. I said, what the heck wrong, doc? Am I fixing to die? He said, well, I don't know where you're fixing to die, right? but you're showing up, get yourself in trouble. <laughs> oh, but, uh, he said, go on up there and let somebody come in and talk to you in a minute. Well, I go on up there, and by the time I get up there and kind of settle in a little bit, well, here comes my daughter-in-law and, and, and J.R.'s favorite. And, uh, he loved that woman. Mandy. <laughs> Mandy. Her name is Mandy. But now, that, look, they get along real, real good. She, uh, that, they come up talking to me. She said, well, said, he ain't going nowhere. Said, he's staying right here. So December the 26th, they did open heart surgery. And when I was doing open heart surgery, well, I had a stroke. So they, they sent me over to rehab. Tried to get out of picture my truck, didn't he? <laughs> it didn't work. That picture is. I don't know. I don't know about it now, y'all. I don't know. I can never get it fixed now. We ain't got to worry about it. We don't want to talk about it. We don't want to worry about it. We don't want to worry about it. We don't want to worry about it. But anyway, I, uh, they, they did open heart surgery on December the 26th. So they sent me over to rehab. 